Hello and welcome to Sea Open at Circuit of the Americas. I just bought this track and I'm very excited to give it a try here in the trucks. I uh, used up the last of my Christmas bounty <laughs> of iRacing credits uh, on uh, renewing my membership and then buying Circuit of the Americas and uh, Boy, that really, uh, what am I doing? I'm driving off, I'm like treating this like it's practice because it's the, <laughs> because it's the outlap and I just get myself an off track for no reason. Um, million things to say. Um, yeah, that, uh, all those gifts for iRacing credit really brought me a long way, have allowed me to do lots of cool new racing. So that's been great. And uh, brings us to Circuit of the Americas today, where they are going in real life. And so therefore, uh, both C, B, and A licensed series are here. And boy, are they here. <laughs> it's, um, it's been pretty fun. I really enjoy, I have enjoyed learning this track. Very large track. We got two minute laps crazy always uh, kind of miss my breaking point there I always break a little bit early because it's scary darn it <laughs> going down that fast corridor or heading towards a sharp corner this uh, this track is full of sharp corners it's a good challenge for sure and uh, as usual in a stock car, you have to be very delicate with the throttle pedal on a road course so it doesn't break loose on you. But uh, you know, the truck is more forgiving than, say, whew, than, say, the, I don't know, any other car, <laughs> probably, because I haven't done any other car yet, but... Um, I'm sure it's like more forgiving than the Xfinity car, for example. So, we'll see what we can do today. I'm going to try to keep the off tracks to a minimum. Oh no! I say. <laughs> Getting uh, off tracks to a minimum, I about to spell myself. Alright, calm down, calm down. I gotta remember, like, pushing it's not going to help me. Qualifying and you're trying to go as fast as possible, but pushing's not gonna help me. I just gotta be consistent, smooth. That's way more. Ooh, I almost had that grip. Way more important than uh, smashing the gas pedal because that's not gonna make you go fast. That's gonna make you spin out. So just gotta remain focused here. Also, if I get an off track during my qualifying lap, then it's invalidated, so better uh, figure that out, not do that. I uh, This is actually my second time attempting to sign up for the race, because the first time it ended up unofficial, because only five people signed up, I think, and then only four people did the race. And... Sorry, I'm, there's going to be random pauses as I take technical sections of the course and stuff, like difficult parts. <laughs> That's just going to be how this video goes, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I did that unofficial race. Oh! I did that unofficial race, and... Can't even... I can't talk, man. I won. I won the unofficial race. That's what I'm trying to say. It's going to take me a year and a half to say it. I won that race, I uh, ended up with two off tracks, but there was like no pressure, so I'm sure the pressure is going to be a big part of it that I'm going to have to deal with here. And so, um, that was great practice though. Helped me learn my braking points a little bit better. One more lap. would like to have a better lap than three seconds off my all time best, but... And worse. Uh, 
but very fun, very fun. I've really enjoyed the course so far, learning it and all that. I like this section here, though it's probably the most dangerous for me because I always hit that one curb, that one that I freaked out and said I almost hit. I hit it a lot, and when you hit it, you launch into space. And uh, that's an off track. If you're in space, that means you got an off track. Oh my Jesus, it snapped. <laughs> well, that's my qualifying time then. We are the number one, by the way, which stinks. It stinks like poo poo. But, well, we'll just try our best. At least we are not the only one getting incidents and qualifying. And I, I gotta remember not to push. It's, it's like subconscious at this point, because I know I don't need to push. I need to just be smooth. And I made it that whole unofficial race without spinning out. But when people are around me and everything, I just I gotta stay focused. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and let you go until the start of this one, since it's probably gonna be a while. I'll see you in a moment. All right, we're back, and it looks like that's going to be a pull time for us. Neat. Uh, I didn't really have any point of reference for how good my laps were when I was doing the unofficial race, because, again, there were only uh, three other people, and one guy wrecked out in the first corner. So then there was two other people, and uh, the strength of field for that unofficial race was, like, 953 or something like that. And that's, uh, I, I guess, including my, what What am I at now? I'm like, uh, I don't, what, my road ironing is like 2,500, I think? What is it? I think it's like 27 and change or something like that. So, yeah, not the best gauge. Um, I ended up lapping the field in that one. Uh, those guys were probably just, you know, getting more practice and stuff. And so the point is, I didn't really get a good idea of what a good time was and well apparently it's good enough to get a 219.5 to get me on the front we don't have enough data for that um so that makes me feel pretty good especially because my best is actually a 216 i don't know what the strength of field right here is what we're doing right now only about uh 15 people were signed up, I think. I guess it would be 14, because there's 14 people in here. And I assume it's single split, so... Fahrenheit. Look forward to getting this event underway. Stay behind kind of a weird car. way to start, because I have to go around this corner, and I don't know if it's like bad etiquette to... I said the meme word, Gavin's meme word. I don't know if it's like bad form to like jump early because there's still people stuck behind the corner. Like, is that kind of uncool? I don't know. Really don't. So, oops, that's not a hit. I didn't hear you. Yeah, sorry, I hit the button by accident. heard that <laughs> oof all right so hopefully uh, I mean well I'll wait a little bit but I don't I kind of wanted to do an earlier jump so I don't know. like I said gonna be lots of focus especially early on here racing against others Presumably, even room and all that. Get ready, going green. Go. Okay, okay car, we're ready. Off. Be ready. Lights.
guess that's good. Maybe a little early, I hope not. This guy is going really fast. I was just taking a baby to turn one. Still there, hold your line. Not Clean raced up. against other people Clean yet. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Oh no! Stay on the left. Stay on the left. Crash and clear. This is scary. Be patient early on here for sure. Given lots of room because I just I don't feel like we need to push right away. So if we lose the lead, which we did, not a huge deal. And into the corner, I always forget the breaking point. Okay, so far so good. Holy smokes, it's slower than I expected. Slam on the brakes for him. He is having trouble. I think I was able to stop in time. Now I don't want to run him over for sure. And that'll be lap one, all right. We survived! And uh, with a zero X so far, which uh, we're gonna have to do a lot more of those. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's make it a thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I had to dodge him. Lost us a lot of time, but at least we didn't get hit or anything. Got some space. Makes me feel more comfortable. That is just such an underrated part of it. So once you're comfortable, you can be faster. Alright. So keep on <laughs> an eye on Nick and Nick. Nick squared ahead of us. And smooth. Smooth is the name of the game. And uh, being gentle on the throttle too. You can like go harder and start spinning the tires, but we're gonna need those. We're gonna need those tires. So, seeing the reason to do all that then. Zero point three gallons. Zero point three. So I'm assuming we're going the whole way. hit in my uh, unofficial race, and then I realized, well, I probably didn't need to do that, did I? So I think uh, we won't need to do that. Yeah, we should be okay. Ooh, kind of took a weird angle there, but that was still okay. Let's 
shift earlier there. Just didn't. I get unsettled right there in that just little kink or whatever. You gotta be careful. It's interesting. Hey, we got some uh, good battle in though here. We got the top three guys, pretty equal on speed it looks like. Gonna uh, shape up to be a very fun race. I mean, I think it's gonna be fun anyway, just racing the track. No experience side by side here though. This place. So that ought to be uh, an adventure. He's going around the outside. Oh, contact! <laughs> we got a long way to go, guys. Not necessary. Oh no, that guy. Uh, we were racing that guy for a minute. Uh oh, bye bye. That hurt me. On the left. Clear. Well done. Nice front now. Alright, so we're back to second. It is good. Feels good. Okay, you're in second. Keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. P2. The lap time was at 219.04. wary through here because I don't know how the guy in front's going to take it, you know? How he's going to come through here. I don't want to run him over or anything, so. Doesn't seem like a very good spot to pass, I'll say that. So don't run the back of them. I'm gonna turn in too early because I lost track of where it was. All right. Tricky. So now I gotta worry about the guy ahead, too. Ooh, kinda took that weird. Or maybe that's just the, the way he takes it, I don't know. Different from how I've been doing it, anyway. Four laps in the books. You have the wheel turn too much as it got on throttle there. Just 
quality analysis. All right. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> so two's been pretty uh, aggressive. It looks like he wants to pass now and not later for sure. So I'm racing the five earlier. So I'm gonna be uh, keeping an eye out for him. The truck's definitely getting lighter as the uh, tires get hotter. Oh! That. So uh, take it easy. Be nice to the car. The car trick. It's a car and truck mixed because I say both all the time. Now on your left. All right, go Clear ahead, Liam. Clear on the left, Colton. Come on, mate. Defend your position. Don't want to fight. I'll happily finish third in my first ever Coda race. That's for sure. First official one, I guess. Have to specify. funny where you can just tell like all three of us are better in certain sections than others and all that oh, oh wow he nearly spun it Keep to the left. clear on the rock I'm it. nice one left side okay Nice dive bomb. Clear on the left. Die bomb me, you definitely better go. You're losing distance to the leader here. Seems like the number five loses a lot of ground at the on those last couple corners, maybe. So we always kind of seem to end up pretty close to him at the end of the lap. Turning in too early there. Gotten into that bad habit. Turning later. Oh, the five! He's crashing. Keeps it straight, though. That's interesting. All right, I gotta not do that at any point. Self reminder. The oil temperature's getting a bit high. Oh, there he goes. He lost his reference point, and then he lost his. Control. So he, uh, he very much recovered. He's still right behind us. So 
gonna dive it on us again. Well, he's certainly not gonna wait. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Clear. You better freaking go if you're gonna keep dive bombing me, man. That gets tiring. All in the six. Clear. Right side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine temperatures. He takes this way too slow. It's blowing me down, down really bad. Here he goes again. He needs to just concede the darn thing if he's going to make a mistake every corner. Stop diving it in on me. Jesus Christ. Got light. Figured it out though. Got a little bit nervous. Wide, wide, wide. That was not good. So we got a good runoff, kinda. Jesus. Coming up right behind me. Oh, my first off track. It stinks. There's a chance of waters for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. Hate this corner. I mess it up so often. I'm waiting right now. Keep to the rod. Keep to the rod. To do this now, I guess, and give me no room. Still there, hold your lines. We're both going very slow now, thanks to you. And then he takes this. <laughs> Warner's so slow, right in front of me. It's good racing, though. As much as I'm getting frustrated, it's because uh, we're having good, close racing. Bill's falling off the desk again. It's fun. Do you think any of the low-budget teams ever... Oh! Have trouble with their wheels falling off. I mean, like the driving wheel, steering wheel is what normal people call it. Oh my God, this guy's full of nonsense. It's full of boogers, right in front of me. Constantly checking up for this guy. I think that's just road course racing. That's just how it goes. Like I said earlier, you got people uh, better in certain areas than others. We got a little bit of wheel hop there, but we're good.
really know uh, how well I've taken care of my rear tires on throttle compared to other people. I don't know if I'm on par for the course or if uh, I've been harsher to, th uh, to them than others have. I'll just say. Zero point two. Time to drop it off. Come on, stay focused. My lap times certainly are not what I've been accustomed to hitting. Just driving around other guys, I guess. That I have to like check out for him. That's okay, killing a lot of times. Maybe scare him into a mistake. Your darn oh worked. God. Holy cow! Clear on the See ya. <laughs> Come on, that's the stuff. Thank you, Nick, for teaching me that strategy. <laughs> a fake. I didn't do anything. He did it to himself. Love to get some distance. That would be great. Got to not make a mistake here in the near future. Maybe I can uh, hit better lap times. Make this easier myself, huh? Typically, wait a minute. Never mind. Huh, I got confused. It's like, where'd he go? Like, right behind you, dummy. Fighting every Nick on the planet except for Neven. Well, that's pretty dramatic. There's only two. <laughs> but I just love hyperbole. More than life itself. <laughs> Get it? Yes, hyperbole. Listen, I can't be funny and drive at the same time. I can park and be a little funnier. But I don't think you came here to watch that. Well, my people come here to watch it. Well. Not my business. Thank you for watching. Potentially <laughs> over driving. That's fine. I was worried I wasn't going to get it slowed down for a second there. Looks like we are getting some distance. That's awesome. Uh, for now, we're getting some distance. We'll see how long it lasts. Well, you're not having to check up for the guy in front of us at all. That lit up the rears a little bit. I do that too much. I'll let you go on the front 
Be letting people go. You guys better fight back there. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to see. What's that red and green truck on the horizon? Single split, too, I gotta remember, so I gotta be very careful. 90% sure it's single split. That seems to have an idea. Making it through the S is pretty good. Oh my god, some warning would be fantastic. Oh, just stops. We're okay. We survived. We're pretty well into this race now, too. Feeling good. The uh, two still has to make it past that uh, truck, but I think uh, they probably will be able to get it done on the straightaway if the guy's gonna let him by. Almost shipped it down too early. Got bad wheel hop. Have to be uh, aware of that. Try not to do that. Hey, got a nice turn through there though. Oh my god, be nice to the tires for a minute because they are hot. They're really hot. This is not a section you want the tires to be hot either. It's very like flat here. All right. Power off. Can I please start hitting laps closer to what I'm used to hitting? <laughs> I have not been even hitting my normal lap times here. Of course, I gotta remember there is tire fall off. I mean, I'm dealing with the loose on throttle. That's the curve I always hit. Don't hit it. Shallow here, so I'm gonna go to first gear. Not a deal, but meaning I was like shallow on the entry of that corner because I kind of overdrove the previous one. So I just decided to shift into first there. Cause that was going to be bogged down pretty bad. Hope the turn too. I think I could stand to, uh, you know, use up more of the track too, like on exit. Kind of like fade out a little bit more. I think I'm lacking in that department as well. Oh, I'm doing so much better now that uh, we don't have to worry about not running into the guy in front of us, though, which is great. Or, you know, getting dive-bombed like we did a couple times early on. I mean, I might have been going too soft, too. That could have been partly on me. I'd rather them dive-bomb me than just torpedo me in the rear. Missing the turn in on that corner. Want to be a little bit closer to the apex. Which, uh, you know, wow, big surprise. You want to hit the apex. Brilliant road racing analysis there. Yeah, you want to hit the apex. That'll be 12.95 for these racing instructions.
I'm gonna get hungry. I need to eat lunch. Maybe I can have a winner winner chicken dinner after this one. I said, jinxing it. I'm really glad I decided to uh, participate in that unofficial race, though. Because at first I'm like, ew, unofficial. Only three other people. But uh, it ended up being some very good practice. It really helped me out. I mean, just getting seat time any at any course, especially like road courses, I feel. Very important. Just getting a feel for every corner. I mean, a large road course like this one, too. What is it like? It's like a three mile track or something? I think even longer? It's a big one. Uh oh. That's a lot of green. I don't like that much green on my all time best. That means I'm overdriving. Okay, I survived. Alright, Colton, your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Not that I wouldn't be able to tell that I'm flying in the corner harder than I should be anyway, but. A visual indicator um, since you don't get the actual feel of the car you know like if you're actually sitting in the truck you probably would be able to tell even a lot better that kind of replaces that a little bit being able to see the time best I think this three's catching me. You go and that scares. That scares me. It scares me so much I like stutter when I talk. Mistakes. Keep it that way. No big turtle. I think I've been calling it a curb. I think it's turtle. I think it's more turtley than that. You're now in the lead. Oh, I'm now in the lead. Thank you, crew chief. I'm now in the lead. Thank you. Glad I made that pass, I guess. Definitely keeping an eye on that seven seconds behind me. I mean, that's a lot of time, but one one semi-major slip-up, and he'll be right on me. And, uh, we don't need that. Let's so you know that I get worse when I'm around other people. Shift into zero gear right there. Going so slow. And these corners are so sharp. First time I hit that how I wanted to this whole race. Even that was kind of slow. Uh-oh, we got a lap traffic coming up up there. Hopefully we don't reach them in a bad spot. Go back on the desk. Ooh, a little light. Shifting in first. Turtle scares me. It's a scary turtle. It's a horror movie turtle. Jump scare turtle. Just imagining the 
an actual turtle wearing a, ooh, a scream mask or something. That's what I see when I see that one. The oil temperature's getting a bit high. Oil temperature? It's ruined. The car's destroyed. Truck. It's so destroyed that it's become a car. Fourteen, uh, apparently Scott's got some decent taste. I don't think we're catching him that quickly. Zero point nine gallons. Uh oh, am I gonna make it on fuel? Uh, actually, you know what? I think we're fine because. While I drive, uh, I think we're fine because I always tell oh. optimal strategy. I think we're fine because I always tell my crew chief guy to uh, give me an extra lap of fuel. So I think we're fine. Might be close, but I think we're fine. I really hope this guy lets me by. Straight away. Sure doesn't look like it. He's kinda far away still. He's still two seconds ahead. Three laps of fuel remaining, he says. That's No green, white, checkered here, that's for sure. This guy's got me unsettled because he's slow through here. Okay, Colton, watch your oil temperature. It's pretty high. Left side. Clear. Okay, get by him. Not so bad. I was worried about flying through the S's and him being pretty slow or something and running into the back of him. So I kind of that a little easier. Anytime you're not in your rhythm, you're kind of feeling a little weird usually. Pretty good on in incidents too. The incidents are very, um, they are liberally given out, is what I will say. I just got the one. So, happy with that as well. Thank goodness. Engine temps. I was really, really worried about that. Man, this is fun though. I am where I'm so glad I bought this track because this has been a ton of fun to drive. Fun of been a blah 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 blah. Been a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> you know, it turns me into a blubbering fool. I'm glad there's no stigma against using the like all time best lap and stuff like there is with like say the racing line or something so I really enjoy having it there it kind of just makes it fun to try to you know come beat my best lap time or just help me use it for reference use like last lap see like if a certain line works better I'm glad people aren't like oh you're not a true racer if you use the Delta bar because that would be stinky I know some people prefer not to use it, like Gavin. I remember he has said he prefers not to use it. Uh, for the immersion factor, I believe is what he said it was for, because you know, I don't have it. 
in a real car. You don't have a display <laughs> above your head. Although some cars do, I think. But, uh, I get that, too. That makes sense. I kind of feel like it's a good uh, replacement of, you know, you would have a crew chief or people watching you and your team giving you data like, hey, you need to push a little harder into this corner. I feel like that's the kind of information you get from the Delta Bar. So that kind of makes me feel better about, like, the concept of, like, oh, well, you wouldn't have it in a real car. You know, iRacing's supposed to be all about realism, but uh, you, we're never going to have 100% one-to-one. Probably. <laughs> but I guess, you know, you're 3,524. I don't know what they're going to have, but in my lifetime, they're not going to have a perfect one-to-one. -one. So, one more lap to win. certain things... be different. Like, I'm glad we can't hit each other on pit road. I would be willing to learn how to properly do things if we could hit each other on pit road. And I mean, we can. I mean, like, obviously, in the pit lanes. They assist with that. And I'd be willing to learn, but that would be so incredibly frustrating, because I'm sure people would be running into each other constantly. Oh, I'm kind of off course here. This. I throw it away on the last lap. It's the last lap, by the way. Kind of went a little wide into the first S, and then I was like, ah, it's going to mess up the whole sequence now, isn't it? Definitely not a clean set of turns there. So, all I got to do now, I believe, is not crash, because we got a nice 10 second lead. to the curb. Turtle. Turbal. Turb. I bet I drive people that are like really familiar with road racing crazy. Talking about uh, curbs and turtles and using the wrong terms constantly. I'm not running out of fuel. That was a concern for about half a second. What a fun drive this has turned into. I wish more people had signed up, but we had a great battle. A set of battles early on, for sure. That three truck dance going on, and we just couldn't quite break away from each other. We were all good in different parts of the track and all that, but eventually it's kind of sorted itself out, and I think maybe some guys might have crashed at some point. Like, the number two is way back there now, and obviously he had pretty good speed, so... Off the final corner, and we get it done! Yes! I believe this might be the first road race I've ever won in a truck. I could be wrong. I don't think I would have that information in my brain anyway. But, you know, with my memory of a peanut, but hey, we did it. Let them spin in. Take trace. We'll do a parade lap, I guess. You get uh, more safety rating by doing extra corners while the race is still going on, so why not? You did. Some people are leaving, so... Good race, guys. <laughs> Good one, man. Thanks. So... Looks like everybody's finished. Maybe? I think so.
practice driving. <laughs> See if we can like take this corner really hard or something. <laughs> yeah, that's how the pros take. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that'll be it for me. <laughs> All right, so we won. Started polling, we won. We were the number one, so we were supposed to. But uh, you know, we got like a 15-person turnout. That was cool. And we got some good racing in there. We actually had to make some passes. We had some battles. It was fun. And uh, thankfully, we were able to break away after a bit. Oops. And uh, that helped me my, uh, my heart settle down a little bit, freaking out and dri driving around other people. But uh, not too much, because only so much settling down you can do on a road course. There's me missing turn one, because I'm freaking out. I'm pretty good at freaking out. Alright, 12 spinning. Early on. Me just letting guys go. You don't need to lead lap one, I'm telling you. Oh, I don't remember this. Oh, it's because it was behind me. For some reason, I thought these guys were in the lead. So the 12, they were the one that spun, I think, yeah. And then they get into the back of the 3. Give them a wee bit of damage. Hopefully not hurting them too much, though. We got lots of people missing the corner. And a spin. And <laughs> they just turn it into a burnout. They do a pirouette. These guys were battling. Leaving room though, it was a nice, uh, pretty respectful. It was good stuff. Ah, oh, I almost ran in the back of them there. Huh. Twelve having more trouble. Still in P5 though. I bet they'd uh, have a pretty good. T yeah, they were qualified second. That's right. You know, if they were able to clean it up, I bet they would have been uh, right along with us out there. Cause their time in qualifying wasn't too far off. So it's, I think they got speed, they just need to rein it in a little bit. As they speed through the pits, I think they were giving up. Oof. Oh my gosh, he's been sent to orbit. That's what can happen. That's what you gotta watch out for. Fifteen loses it. Kind of like a slow spin, and this one too. A little bit of overdriving, and then a little bit of over revving. It's like what happened there. Hot on entry and hot on exit. Very easy to do. Yeah, another one of those slow spins. That's what happened to this guy, I guess. He was doing pretty well for a while. Lighting up front. Is that it? Wow! Okay, so I guess I'm assuming it's probably not showing off all the uh, off tracks and things. Holy smokes. Some of these numbers! 14, 14, 14, 13, 11. I, I guarantee, like, the, almost all of those are probably off tracks. Because it's so easy and so touchy. 9, 6, 6, 2, 2, 1. Wow. 9, 10, and 11. They didn't even show up. These guys didn't actually race. So these zeros, everyone got at least one incident. Man, that makes me wish uh, even more I didn't get that one off track. Because then I could be like, ha ha. Did not get any incidents. But I, I can't really feel bad about that, about that race. That was very good. <clears throat> oh, losing my voice. And just at the right time, too. Because this video's over. Thanks for watching. I'll go rest my voice, I guess. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was really fun. I recommend Coda. It's a very fun track. I think a lot of people say they don't like it, but actually, I had really a lot of fun. Probably had to do with the fact that I was successful. That probably helped, but even that unofficial race I did by myself, essentially, that one was a lot of fun. So, I enjoy it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.